In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the official Wii U GameCube controller adapter on the Dolphin emulator for PC. There's nothing really more convenient than playing GameCube emulation with an actual GameCube controller. That being said, there's a number of adapters and ports and converters and what have you available to do just this, as well as USB GameCube controllers. But one of my personal favorite methods is to use the official Nintendo Wii U GameCube controller port adapter that came out for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. And thankfully getting it set up on PC isn't too complicated of a process. So let's dive in. So step one is to of course have a Wii U GameCube controller port adapter. Step two is to have a version of Dolphin installed on your computer, either one of the beta versions or the latest developer version. Do not use the stable version, it's almost six years out of date. That is not worth your time. And lastly, we're going to need to download Zadig here for Windows. So, link to these will be in the description, but head to this page, and then just click on Download Zadig 2.7. Now from here, get your Wii U GameCube controller port adapter plugged into your computer. And it should install a driver if you haven't hooked it up before, but... Either way, just wait for it to finish doing its thing. And once it's done, launch into Zadig. And once Zadig has opened up, click on Options and tell it to list all devices. And then click on the little drop down box here and find WUP028. That is your Wii U GameCube controller port adapter. And make sure the USB ID device is listed as 057E0337. Now, You'll see a little box here on the right, and it says Win USB. That's what we want to leave this on. Now just click on Replace Driver. And you're about to modify a system driver. Are you sure this is what you want to do? Yes. And once the driver is finished installing, you'll get a nice little dialog box that you can hit Close on. And then we can close out as a dig and our GameCube controller port adapter is ready for use in Dolphin. So, just open up your Dolphin emulator, navigate to the controllers tab here, and then for port one through four, change it to the GameCube adapter for Wii U. And if you click on one of the configure boxes, you can enable or disable rumble. You can also disable rumble by unplugging the gray USB cord from the Wii U adapter. And then you could also simulate DK bongos if you want to plug those in. But once you have all four ports set, just go ahead and click on close. And you can plug GameCube controllers into all the ports you want to use. So with the Wii U logo on top of the adapter, the leftmost port is player one. And then it follows at two, three, four, as you would expect. But now you can load into any of your GameCube content and navigate it with a real GameCube controller. But now every aspect of the controller will be just like on real GameCube hardware. You have access to your pressure sensitive triggers, your buttons and stick layout configurations and everything are all defaulted. And it's just a freaking authentic experience, which is just absolutely amazing. And for playing GameCube games, it really doesn't get much better than this. Now, once you do this conversion for your Wii U GameCube controller port adapter, you can't use it with any other things like VJoy or other stuff like this is going to make it specifically for dolphin so there's some people out there that like to use this adapter for other emulators and stuff but when you use vjoy it's not correct it doesn't give you the right access the right ranges and all this stuff to your gamecube controllers so for anyone wanting to use this on dolphin this is really the best way of doing it but that's going to do it as far as getting your wii u gamecube controller port adapter set up for use on the dolphin emulator Again, fairly straightforward process, and the benefits it gives you for GameCube emulation just cannot be understated. This is just another way to make your GameCube emulation more authentic. As always, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try to help you out. But thank you so much for watching this tutorial. It means the world to me that you spend even a minute of time on this channel and helping us grow it. But I do have a couple of huge favors to ask you here at the end. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's tutorial, and that sub button notification bell so you can see when new content goes live on the channel. It goes a long way to helping us keep the place going and bringing more content just like this to all of you. 
For anyone that might be further interested in helping support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping us going and, again, bringing this content to you. Big thank you to all of our current backers, thank you for believing what we do, and just being amazing rock stars. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, we'll see you back next video.